look at component modules, buffer management, and catalog. And after this, we're going to move on to our next notes. Now, we're given a little diagram here, and we're not going to go too much in depth with this. We're going to come back to this later. It's just an introduction because it's too much information at this point here. But just looking over this and using the information we have now, we have users, right? Our DBA staff, casual users, so like end users, and programmers. So the staff have statements, a compiler, and these go to the system catalog data dictionary. They also have privileged commands. We know that. And it's going to go to this node right here. And this is where we have our DBA commands, queries, and transactions. The transactions are from like the programmers, where we have the programs, compiler, and all of this going into here, which goes into the node. And then our casual users, which have the interactive query, query compiler, and query optimizer that go into this node. Then they all go into essentially this large database right here. We have the upper part and the lower part. It goes into the database, out of the database for our DBA staff, and then it ends in the query and transaction execution right here. So that's it for our component modules. Next, we have our buffer management. For buffer management, we need to be responsible for allowing processes to get the memory they need. We want to minimize delay. As an example, what block to throw out of the buffer pool when a buffer is needed for a newly requested block. Basically, when we have too much stored memory, what do we do? We can use a first in first out. So if we ran out of space, we can kick the first thing that was in out. Next is our catalog. We should include information of structures. So in our catalog, we're going to have the names and file sizes, names and sizes, types of data items, storage details of each file, and mapping information among schema and constraints. But this is all just an overview of this. This is for our component modules. We've looked at database languages, DBMS architecture and data independence. We've looked at why we should not use DBMS. We've looked at our data modules, database users. We've also taken a look at file processing system versus our DBMS and the introduction to database management system. That's the conclusion of our introduction to database management system notes. Next, we're going to be looking at our ER, which is entity relationship.